Hey friends, I hope you know how to get user's current location in iOS app. And if you don't know, please don't worry because I have made this video just for you. So please consider subscribing my channel and watch this video till the end. So guys, let's open Xcode and create a new Xcode project. Select single view application, click next and give it a name. I will give it user current location. Okay, click next and create. Now we have our Xcode project and we need to make two major changes in this. We need to add two things. First of all, go to user current location and select target. Go to build phases and add a library, a framework called core location framework. Okay, just add this. Now here we have our framework. Now go to info.plist and make a change. Now this one, okay. Now go to main storyboard file base, okay, and add here. You need to search for privacy user location. Okay, now here we are. So here we have the privacy location in usage. Okay, the, select this and give it a message. I will give it as message as we want to get current location okay you can give it any message i have given this now go back to your main storyboard file and add a map kit view on that so our main storyboard file is loading right now and just select map kit view from here and just drop it just here now fix it like this okay add some constraints to it so i'll give it the same constraints okay now we are good to go with the view controller file now add two frameworks here you can call it modules as well and i will say import map kit first code location now the next thing that you need to do is cl location manager delegate now we have added CL location manager delegate now we need to make an uh, object we need to make an outlet of our map of map uh, map kit so just make an object of map kit right into your project from here and you will add this press control and just drag this down here and you will get the outlet name it map okay i'll name it map and connect okay now go back to your view controller file and create an object with the name manager manager and give, take it as cl location manager not delegate cl location manager okay now you need to write manager manager dot okay it is showing some fixing into this okay expect member name constructor call after okay fix this all right now write manager dot delegate would be equal to self manager dot desired accuracy would be kcl kcl location accuracy at its best now manager dot request when in use authorization now manager dot start updating the location okay now we need to create a function and the function would be func location manager from here it would be did update location so we need to find that did update location function here we have that function i guess so yes here we have our function now we need to write our rest of the code here inside this function so what we need is the location so we need to create a object called location and we will give the location as locations locations and i will give it a value of zero Okay, 
now we need to create a span where the location will be shown on a map the type of this span will be mk coordinate coordinate span and it will be equal to mk coordinate span coordinate span make span okay i mean i need to write it again coordinate span make okay now in this uh, function we need to write uh, the latitude delta as cl location degrees and the longitude delta as again cl location degrees so i will give it 0 0.01 and the other one will be also 0 0.01 now we need to create another object called my location my location and it will be of type cl location coordinate cl location location coordinate 2d okay now we need to give it some values cl location coordinate 2d make we need to get 2d make okay here we have the 2d make and we need to write the latitude and longitudes uh, in this uh, in its parameter so we will write location dot coordinate dot latitude okay and the other one would be location dot coordinate dot longitude all right now here you can see we have given the location the span of the location and accuracy according to the latitude and the longitude of the location the other thing that we need to write is the region the, now let's make the object of region and the type of this region would be mk coordinate region here we have and again mk coordinate coordinate region and now find region make mk coordinate region make here we have and in this i need to write the location that would be my location and the span would be the span object that we made all right now we need to add all this on our map outlet so map dot set region would be the region parameter would take the region and the other parameter that is animated would take the value true or false so i'll write region here and the boolean for this would be true animate this and i think we are good to go now let's give it a blue dot as well mel uh, self dot map dot show user location would be equal to true now we will just build and run this and let's see what happens the build succeeded and let's see on the simulator what happens on our iphone se so let me give it a location let's say freeway drive and we will be able to see the current location as well as updating location of the user this is about to launch and yes we can see the blue dot on our screen and the location will be updated okay there you see and you can see that the location is updating itself according to the current longitude and latitude and if we select the cycle bicycle ride city bicycle ride then let's see what happens so now you can see uh, exactly what is happening in the you know map the location is updating on a real-time basis according to the longitudes and latitudes with accuracy of 0 0.01 comma 0 0.01 so i hope you like this video and if you want to see my first very first video on map kit then I have given the link of that too in my description. And if you want this code that I have written just now, 
then I will provide that link in the description as well. Uh, I will connect it to the Git repo and I will give the link of that Git repo in the description down below. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more such videos in future. And if you haven't watched my earlier video on this topic, then please do watch it because I have given the link of that video in the description down below. So goodbye for now. See you in the next one. Jai Hind.